I told you, it seems like every time the Burlington's going up in the air, it looks like the, uh, the Cougars have a chance of getting a pick six, and I believe that was um, Haley Penny, um, cornerback there, almost getting the interception on that one. Penny, the uh, lone female member of the Cougars squad. They're gonna throw this one in the air again. Oh, nearly picked off. On consecutive plays, the Cougars nearly come up with back-to-back -back interceptions, but goes through the hands of the defender, but a good play there by the defense. Number 81, Tyler Schumanski from the uh, Chatham Cook Cougars getting a hand on that one, almost picking off. That's three in a row now the Cougars have had a bit of a shot at, so. But on the bright side, it is now uh, fourth and 20. We'll see if the Stampeders take a knee in the end zone here, or if they actually kick this one away. And they will kick it. And it is off the side of the foot, it looks like. And nice play there from 81 on the far side for the Cougars. He looks to have a little bit of room and Finally dragged down, but fantastic field position for Chatham Kent. Tyler Schumanski with the heads up play. Gets his hands on that football on that short kick and it's gonna be first and goal it looks like from the 10, excuse me, about the eight yard line for the Cougars. Schumanski doing a great job reading that ball there. Let it drop, but then picked it back up real quick, ran it back to within the 10 yard line. So now the, uh, the Cougars have a fighting chance here to uh, punch it in put six points up on the board. So the Stampeders, instead of taking a knee and giving up the two points, decide to kick it away. And now the Cougars with fantastic field position inside the 10. 